Bert, Bert, Bert Badger, Bert, 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 Bert Badger. Nice to meet you. Bert, 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 Bert Badger in the house. Hey everybody, I'm Bert Badger, and welcome to Nice to Meet You. If it's your first time joining us, nice to meet you. Today we're gonna go and study. Ballet! That's right! I got to go to Releve Studios in Tarzana, California and study how to do ballet. And it was so much fun! <laughs> but don't forget, I have a magic fanny pack. And if you stick around to the end of the episode, you'll be able to see what's in my magic fanny pack. My magic fanny pack. My magic... <laughs> Alright, let's go check in with Mr. Burt Badger at Releve Studios and see what's going on. Take it away, Burt Badger. I'm so excited! Have you guys ever done ballet before? Ballet is a type of dance performance that originated during the Italian Renaissance and was later developed into concert dance in France and Russia. Hi Adrian, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bert Badger. Thank you so much. What is this room? We are in a dance studio. Inside this room, we teach all types of dance classes, including ballet. Oh, well ballet is the reason I'm here. I was hoping maybe you could teach me a few things. I'd love to teach you some ballet. Great, let's do it. Let's get started. Adrian, what's the first thing we want to learn when we start doing ballet? Well, ballerinas of all ages start their classes with a plie. A what? A plie. A plie? <laughs> yes, it's a French word that means to bend. I can bend. You sure can. Let me show you how to bend the plie way. Sure. We're going to start with putting our heels together and putting our feet in first position. Our heels are going to touch and our toes are going to face out away from our body. I feel like a penguin. <laughs> then you're doing it just right. Next, we're going to put our arms in first position. We're going to make a circle in the front of our bodies. Circles are one of my favorite shapes. They're so round. They are. <laughs> and then, for the bending. Now we're going to bend our knees. Plie. Great job. This time, let's try keeping our head up. One, two, three. Maybe a little too much. Try pointing your nose straight in front of you. Do you guys want to try and do a plie with us? Yeah! You think you can teach them? I'd love to. Go for it. Okay, let's start by putting our feet in first position. Heels are touching, toes are turned out. Our arms in first position, a nice circle right in front of you. Heads stay up high, backs are straight. One, two, three, plie. Yeah! Great job! Well, that was fun. But what are some other cool ballet moves you could teach us, Adrian? Well, next let's learn some piques. What? A <laughs> penalty kick? <laughs> no, a pique. Okay. Your toe is going to bounce off the floor. It's a French word that means to prick. Okay. So we're going to start in first position again. This time, we're going to put one foot forward, point it on the floor, and let it bounce off the floor. Very nice. Now let's try it quietly. Okay. Much better. Nailed it. Do you guys want to try to do PKs with us? Yeah! Let's right. do it. Let's start in first position. We're going to point one foot forward. And now let's let it bounce from the floor. Keep those knees straight. Did you guys do a PK with us? You did? Bonus point! Good job. <laughs> Doing PKs was so much fun. I want to learn some more ballet moves because this is pretty cool. Great, let's learn a passe. A passe? Yes, when we do a passe. That's my passe. <laughs> What's up, little kids? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm being so silly. I'm a goose. <laughs> I thought you were a badger. I'm both. <laughs> When we do a passe, our toe touches our knee. So we're going to point our foot, lift up our toe, and touch our knee with it. That's incredible. You can do it too. Let's try. I don't know if I can do it. Well, Bert Badger, one of the things about learning dance is that when we first start, we're not always good at it. But as we keep trying, we get better every time. All right, I'll give it a whirl. You can do it. <laughs> we're going to start in first position again. Mm -hmm. Now. Pick which foot you'd like to do your passe with. This one. Let's do it, your right foot. We're going to pick up our foot, point our toe, and let it touch your knee. Look at that, you did it! I 
feels so good. That I was really you cool. You guys gonna do one? What's it called? A passe. Let's do it, my passe. All right, beat in first position. Pick your passe foot. I'm doing right. Me too. Okay. Let's pick it up. Make sure we're pointing our toe and touch our knee. There we go. Did you guys do it? I did it. Bonus points for everybody. Yeah. And a special bonus point for Adrian. Yes. Those moves were fairly easy. And now I think I'm getting the hang of it. You are. Why don't you throw a curveball in? Let's try an arabesque. A what? An arabesque. All these ballet names have such cool names to the moves. You're right. All of these words we've been learning today are French. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Ballet started in France, so a lot of the words we use in ballet are French. I know some French. Bonjour, Jean Mappel. Bonjour, Jean Mappel. Bonjour, Jean Mappel. Chicka chicka Burt Badger. Wow! You can even rap in French. We're gonna keep one foot on the floor, and our other foot is gonna rise up behind us in a straight line. A straight leg standing, and a straight leg in the back. Very nice. Now don't worry if you start to get wobbly. Nice work. I hope that you're moving around with us and experiencing all this fun ballet movement because it's so healthy for you. And this next move is going to be amazing. Okay, I think we're ready for a jump. This next move is called a plié sauté. A what? A plié sauté. And you already know the first part. That sounds delicious. <laughs> it's not a food, it's a dance move. Okay. The first part is a plié, which we've already learned. We're going to put our heels together in first position. We're gonna put our arms in first position and we're gonna bend our knees. This time we're gonna stay down here until it's time for the saute. And the saute is the jump. What? Yep. So let's start plie. One, two, three, saute. <laughs> Very nice job. Remember to keep your head up high mm -hmm. and point your feet when you're in the air. Straight bend. Great job! Wonderful plié sautés. Do I get bonus points? You sure do. Bing. And you get them too! <laughs> Alright, this is going to be our final ballet move that we learned. And I'm super excited. And after I learn this, we're going to string them all together and see if Burt Badger can really do ballet. You can do it. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to learn a boré turn. A what? A bore turn. These have the <laughs> silliest names. <laughs> it's a turn up on our tiptoes or on demi point. So we're going to start with our feet in first position again. Mm -hmm. This time we're going to bring our arms to high fifth position. A nice big circle around your head. Ah, new. That's right. Partner. <laughs> then we're going to lift up into our releve, which means we're up on our toes. And we're going to take tiny steps to turn around. Let's go. Your turn. Very nice. This time, try to keep your knees a little straighter. And why don't you guys try with us at home, too? Come on, guys. Let's do it. First I position. knew. High fifth position. Lift up. And bore turn. Good job! Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Let's put them all together and see how it looks. <laughs> Alright you guys, you've learned so many cool ballet moves and now we're going to take them and string them together and see what the whole routine looks like. When we put dance moves together in order, we call that choreography. What's his name? <laughs> choreography. Oh, I thought you were talking about somebody else. <laughs> Choreography is putting dance moves together. You got it. All right, got it. So let's put everything we've learned so far into one piece of choreography. Let's start with our feet together in first position. And don't forget your arms in first position. Let's do four plies. One, two, three, four. With our right foot, let's pique, pique, passe. And our left foot, pique, pique, passe. 
Arabesque to the right. Arabesque to the left. Feet back in first position for four plie sautés. One, two, three, four. Arms up high for that bore turn. And take a bow. Hey, that was awesome. Did you guys get up and do it with us? That was so much fun. If you guys are interested in ballet, talk to your parents or guardian about it, and maybe you can become a great ballerina just like my buddy Adrienne. Thanks, Bert Badger. That was so much fun. It was fun. So thank you guys for joining us. I'm gonna send it right back to the studio with the one Mr. Bert Badger. Take it away, Bert. Great job, Bert Badger. It looked like you had so much fun learning ballet. Now it's time to play my favorite game. No, you silly goose. No, you silly goose. Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right, all right. Mm, I got one. Do you put jelly on your french fries? No, you silly goose, that's gross. Now we're back with my buddy Spencer. Hey Spencer, what activities do you have for us now? Well Bert, let's see what's in my backpack. Okay. Whoa. Why don't you reach in there and grab something new out? Oh, you got blue rhythm sticks. Listen. Cool. Can you stomp your feet to that beat? There's you bet a beat. Yeah. There's a beat. There's a B E A T beat. There's a beat. Oh yeah. There's a beat. Uh huh. In my F E E T beat. In his feet. There's a beat. There's a beat. There's a beat. There's a beat. There's a B E A T beat. There's a beat. There's a beat. In his feet. There's a beat. In his feet. In my F E E T beat. In his feet. <laughs> nice job dancing to the beat of these blue rhythm sticks, which you can use these instruments in music therapy. Great job, Spencer. Now we're gonna check in with my good friend, Mr. Magical Spectacular. I already got a surprise up his sleeve. Take it away, Mr. Magical Spectacular. Hello, children. It is I again, Mr. Magical Spectacular. Today, I have a special request. I need someone to help me with my magic trick. But who do I know that can come lend a hand? I know! I conjure... Bert Badger! <laughs> Hello, Bert Badger! It is nice to see you again. Hello. I've conjured you here today to help me with today's magic trick. Oh, I love magic. This is great. Thanks for having me, Infinity. You're welcome. Welcome to Infinity. Now, you may be wondering, where is the magic trick? Well, I've got a surprise for you. Magical Spectacular Fanny Pacula! Oh my goodness! This was not in here before! Yes, it is a spring and a ring. Two words that rhyme. Spring and a ring and a thing and a ding and a ping and a ding ding ding. Exactly right! So, Bird Badger, I want you to inspect this spring and ring and see if you can pull it out of there. Inspecting the spring, inspecting the ring, inspecting the spring, and inspecting the ring. Nope, it's stuck on there pretty dang good, Mr. Magical Spectacular. Well, let's just see what happens when we introduce a little Magical Spectacular. Oh boy. Are you ready, Bird Badger? Mm hmm. Are you ready, Bird Badger? Oh yeah. Magical Spectacular! <laughs> I pulled them apart. The spring and the ring are now separate. I can't believe my eyes. Neither can I! Next magic trick! <laughs> ah! Mr. Magical Spectacular, could you please warn me next time you... It's quite jarring. Well, surprise is a key element of magic. So no. I just want you to know I'm feeling quite jarred at the moment. Duly noted. All right. Bird Badger! For our second trick, we will not be performing magic, but science! Oh yeah! Today we will use science to create unicorn lava! Oh, what? Will you help me, Bert Badger? Well, since I'm trapped in infinity, I don't really have many other options, so sure. That's true! You have no choice! Great! We will place this funnel in this jar. Bert Badger, will you please pour this baking soda through the funnel into this bottle. Sure. Well done! Thank you. Now, 
please take this food coloring and pour it in the bottle on the baking soda. What color is that, guys? Mm. If you said red, you get a bonus point. Very cool. Now, while you do that, I will take this color, which is, hmm? That's right, blue. Unicorn point. Yeah. And I will pour this blue food coloring into, it's so slippery, into this vinegar. When you mix vinegar and baking soda, it causes what's called a chemical reaction, which produces an effect. Let's see what effect we get today, Bert Badger. I'm so excited. Count with me. One, two, two three. three. Magical spectacular! It's oh. unicorn lava! Well done, Bert Badger. High five! This is the coolest science experiment I've ever seen in my whole life. It is indeed. And for my final trick, I shall make Bert Badger disappear. <laughs> well, what do you know? It worked. Thank you, kids, and thank you, Bert Badger. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome but I'm still feeling a bit jarred. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Magical Spectacular. That was awesome. Now it's time to see what's in my magic fanny pack. My magic fanny pack. My magic fanny pack. My magic, whoop, whoop. Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> okay, all right, wow. It's my favorite snack in the world, an apple. Yeah, apples! When I was a kid, I used to go to the apple orchard and pick my own apples, and then we would go inside to the cider mill and we would drink fresh pressed cider. It was my favorite. Mmm. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. But I want to hang out with you guys again real soon. Thank you guys so much for joining me, Burt Badger, on Nice to Meet Ya. Bing! And it was Nice to Meet Ya. Thank you guys so much for watching the show today. It means so much to us. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and hang out even more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be up to date on the latest and greatest, Burt Badger, nice to meet you. Hit that notification bell. And don't forget to tell all your buddies about how much fun you had today with the one, Mr. Burt Badger. <gasps> nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Okay, go outside and play, do something productive. I'm a robot, I'm a robot, I'm a robot, I'm a robot, I'm a robot.